Ladies and gentlemen, we are tuned in to the Rico Report. I really don't know what to tell you. That, that, that game was insane. Welcome to the Big Squad. Shout out to the Big Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Squad. Welcome on a very special evening. To the Rico Report. We are here. He is our team. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. Bing, 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 bing. bing, 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 bing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again. You are tuned into the Rico Report on the Buffalo Fanatics. I have a special guest with me. He's in the green room right now hanging out. I'm going to introduce him. But before I put him on screen, you guys have been asking for this individual. Two years now, he's been marinating. You guys have heard me say this. We don't want microwave dinners. We don't want the TV dinners. We want a slow-cooked meal. Has he cooked enough is the question. We're about to find out this offseason. Without further ado, let me introduce to you Mr. Mr. Christian Mother Effing Wade. What's good, Christian Wade? <laughs> How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm very well, sir. Welcome to the Rico Report. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. Uh, this is my guy, Christian Wade. Running back, you know what I'm saying? Mr. UK. He's been, he's been <laughs> marinating. And I, do you feel do you feel that like you've been seasoned well? Whoo! I mean, I've been in there for a while, man. <laughs> Two years, you know. Obviously, being a professional athlete to sit on the sideline for two years is it's a long time, you know. Especially if you're not injured or or hurt or have anything wrong. So I've been waiting eagerly, trying to learn as much as I can, uh, trying to pick up as much of the gameplay. I don't want to be running away from my blocks like I was doing in the preseason games. <laughs> Ah, you know, okay. so, um, yeah, I've learned a lot, man. I'm just, you know, I'm just itching and ready to go. So, you know, if I get the opportunity to you kind of show what I can do, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. All right. He, I, 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 there's so many things I need to ask because I personally, I defend, I defend running back so much. I love, I played a little ball back in the day. I played the running back position. I love okay. the position. Right. And I keep hearing people say, <laughs> Running back is a dime a dozen. Now, I want I, I'm gonna bring that up a little later, but I just it irks me. So I just gave you a little preface to to something that you're gonna have to defend a little later, but we'll talk on that. Now, <laughs> I've asked players on this team who the fastest player on this team is. You're no slouch. What is your 40 time? Have you timed yourself? What's the fastest you've timed yourself in the 40? To be honest, we with like, the only time I've run a 40, um was kind of when we was back at the uh, IMG, you know, kind of, uh, we did like a a small, very small, like mini combine. We had okay. about 12, 12 NFL or 12 to 16 coaches come down to have a look at us. Um, it was just like a snapshot to see what was kind of like on, on offer this year. Um, but I ran like a four or five something. I can't remember the, the exact time. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the only, the only uh, kind of, uh, official time I have. Okay. So when I got, to, as soon as I got to the Bills, guys was like, "I saw you run like a four five. You're 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 nowhere near that. You're you're more of a four 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 three. So that's what I was like, saying. What to me, bro? The times don't mean nothing, bro. Like I've always been like that for my whole career. Like I speak on it. I, I didn't even care like what what you run. You know, you need to catch me on the field. You know what I mean? It doesn't really doesn't really matter what you run or what I run when we're doing running against the clock. You know what I mean? It's all about who can do what they do on the field. You know, those are just stats for coaches and for fans. But when it comes to being on the field, you know what I'm saying? Show me something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I, you have no idea. I mean, I'm geeked because I love hearing I love hearing that. There's four, four, three, four, four speed. Yo, when it comes to game speed, it's a different ball game. And it proved that in that preseason game. Tell yeah, me how yeah. 
you've spoken on this, I'm sure, many times, right? But how geeked were you when you got your, your <laughs> carry and you saw how wide open that thing is? Like, yo, is this the NFL? This is what we're doing? Were you thinking <laughs> like that? I mean, not, not necessarily like that. Like, is this the NFL? Because to me, you know, sport is sport. And, you know, I'm like you said, I'm no slouch, bro. I've come from rugby playing at the highest level, you know. So I've been doing that traveling the world. Um, Africa, you know, Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, America, South, like all over the world, bro, playing professional sports. So, you know, coming to the NFL was just about me kind of taking it to the next level in terms of the type of athletes that I'm competing against, you know, to see if, you know, I'm really about that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, by me doing what I did in the preseason just kind of showed me like, yeah, you could really do this. You know, even though it's a preseason game, like, you know, I'm just starting out too. So, you know, the more I learn, the more damage I'm going to do, bro. So mm. <clears throat> that's for that moment for me, it was just like a, a huge weight off my shoulders in terms of like you're doing the right things, you know, hustling, studying hours and hours, trying to learn the playbook, trying to learn gameplay, you know. And really, it's just marrying that up with the skills and attributes I already have. And you know that's that's basically what you saw, and you saw a snippet of that on the field, bro. So, oh, I got it. Like I said, I'm just waiting for my opportunity to try and do something, bro. But uh, you know, it's been a great journey so far, and I'm enjoying every moment. Listen, bro, can I can I call you, bro? Bro, call Listen me, up, bro. <laughs> Listen up, bro. Listen, man. Yo. We 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 anticipate something from Christian Wade and Brandon Bean. I don't know what this the scouting department. And Brandon Bean, I don't know what, what got into them to bring you on board, but we're excited. Mm. And what you gave us in preseason is all we've been, all we've, we've the last, that's the last view we've seen from Christian Wade. Yeah, so yeah. We're, we're excited. Yeah. Has now, here's, here's something different. Now, rugby play, I've played a little rugby back in the day. So I know you're inside center, outside center, scrum half, all that stuff. You're a winger. You played winger. Do you yeah, prefer yeah, yeah. to be on the way on the eighth man outside or? <laughs> Are you have you have you dabbled into playing inside outside center? Yeah, so when I was in school, I played a little bit of center as well, just because I had good hands, so I could catch and pass. Which you know, when you're in the younger years, not everybody is you know pretty good with all that sort of stuff. So you know, I used to play center as well, mess around there because of my speed. You know, being able to free up the guys on the wing right. rather than me rather than me being on the wing and relying on everybody else to get me the ball. If I could be a bit closer, then I could help. And then I messed around with scrum half as well, like in, on the seventh circuit. Okay. Um, but my pass from the ground wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't quick <laughs> okay. enough. So, you know, I couldn't do that. Um, I couldn't really do that once we got to the higher levels and stuff. And then we um, uh, played a little bit of fullback, which is, I guess, a bit like a uh, like a safety. Yeah, I know. I, I know the know? position. I know the position. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit like a safety. So you know, you watching the whole. You can see the whole play from the backfield. Yep. And then if they kick, you know, you got to be back there and you turn into a kick returner. So, you know, all these kind of attributes and skills I've obviously learned from playing rugby and just really trying to translate that into the game of football, which is actually very difficult. <laughs> it <laughs> is. There's, there's so much stuff you have to learn. So although I've got the attributes and stuff, it's just like, you know, unless I really understand what's going on on the field, you know, it, it won't translate, you know. So that's really what I've been trying to do these last two years try and get as many reps as possible um you know so although it's been a lot of mental reps rather than physical reps yeah that's kind of just the nature of the nfl and that's really where i've had to work a lot you know and really getting my head around the fact that i'm not going to be able to actually do these things physically but i have to learn it you know by watching and you know just doing mental rehearsals which is you know definitely made me grow as an athlete tremendously yeah. um increase my attention span as well because I've never had to sit in meetings longer than 35, 45 minutes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in meetings all day. So, you yeah. know, my attention span, you know, just being in the NFL has helped me to grow tremendously, bro. For real. How, how now in physical stature, I got to ask this question. Who's taller between you and Devin Singletary? Just for the, just for the record. Um, I think I'm a little bit, that's only like a little bit taller, but okay. he's like, he's heavier than me though. You he's know stout. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devin's like two, I, don't, I want to say 210 around there, or maybe a bit more. I don't know. But okay. Yeah, he, 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 he's, a, he's a big, you know, powerful he's solid. dude. Yeah, he's solid, man. He's, he's solid. solid, bro. Yeah. I, I, 
I do want to ask this though. The stature of rugby players, you know what I'm saying? When you get within the big boys, in the scrum, mm -hmm. all that good stuff, they're yeah. like super athletes. Do you find that there's a difference in the athlete that plays rugby uh, versus the athlete that plays in the NFL? Is there a big difference between how they're conditioned and what differences you see? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 a different type of uh it's a complete even though there's people think that the sports are similar it's different type of athlete so with rugby players you know we would tend to be um okay we would tend to be more like trained like crossfit crossfit athletes okay so you know we can run all day we can also you know we have a lot of speed and acceleration in certain players and then we have to be able to do like a lot of down and ups you know be able to like pick things up, put them down, i.e. make tackles. And then, you know, because you make a tackle, you go down. That's the, the simulation of down and up. So, you know, you got to be like an all-rounded, like, you know, CrossFit That's kind right. of athlete to play rugby. Whereas with um, NFL, it's just like, hey, you can get as big and as strong as you need to be, like if you're a lineman, because you won't have to run and run and run all day. Right. But you will have to be ex have explosive strength. And, you know, those guys who have great footwork and stuff like, you know, you've got like D your Dion's and stuff who are real mobile, um, Mitch Morse. Um, you know, most of our O-line is pretty, pretty uh, mobile, but those are just like the two that you're going to really be seeing like as, as uh, like pulling offensive linemen to do stuff. You know, those guys have those extra attributes. But other than that, you know, like I'm saying, it's a very different sport. And then you've got like your receivers, you know, some of the receivers probably wouldn't play rugby, which is, from my point of view, yes. like I was like, I was just like, I, I was saw like NFL play everyone being big and like me coming along being like a small guy. Right. But I, I, not that I'm not a small guy. I'm a small guy, but I'm not the smallest, you know? Right. You got Isaiah McKenzie. A little Beasley. dirty. Yeah, a little dirty and stuff. So, you know, there's, it's, it's all different shapes and sizes you can play NFL and all different shapes and sizes you can play rugby. But the way that you're trained or conditioned is that's where the difference is. Do you find that you'll have, uh, do you find that you've, you've gained an advantage by playing uh, rugby versus these NFL cats? Like, is there an advantage where, like, no, I played rugby, so that's where I got you guys? Um, nah, not necessarily. Just because okay. there's so much more in football that you, like, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like, in, in rugby, you can kind of, uh, you can finesse it a little bit, you know, because it's like a, a, a the game is ongoing. That's you right. Can finesse, you can finesse it a little bit, whereas in the NFL, you can finesse it, but in a different way. You have, you, you have to finesse it with your mind, like actually knowing what's going on. You don't yeah. always have to be the, the quickest or whatever. You know, you can finesse the play by just understanding, you know, and that's why there's so many players in the league who have been around 10 plus years because they've learned how to know their role inside out and, you know, be be quicker on the field without having to move quickly, you know, because they know what's going on and what's about to come. So that's the difference, really, really what I would say. Not that you can't do that in rugby because you can learn, you know, certain traits, but because the game is always evolving, it's a lot harder to, you know, kind of gauge like, oh, okay, I know what they're going to do. I know exactly what they're going to do here. I like that. I like that. All right. So here we go. Yeah. We're going to we're going to we're going to soften. We're going to we're going to liven things up a little. Bit. I was going to soften it, but we're not. We're gonna play a game. Let's <laughs> play a game, right? Um, Let's go. This game. Uh, okay, here we go. This game is called Two Words, and the way this okay. game is played is I throw out random topics. It could be player, it could be food related, um, it could be whatever under the sun. Sometimes I freestyle it. Sometimes I'm scripted. So I'm half and half today. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready, sir? This I'm always ready. Hey. <laughs> Let's go, bruv. Let's go. Let's go, my brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a game called Two Words. Two I words. snap out whatever's on Rico's mind, and Christian Way is going to try to bat it back to me. I may try to strike him out with some hard ones. He might hit it out the park. We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Christian Wade, are you ready? I'm Here ready. We, Let's go, man. We, we start off really soft. So we're going to go. I, I kind of gave you this one early. Can you tell people about two words that describe bangers and mash? And, <laughs> am, I saying that, am I saying that correctly? Yeah, bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. 
of if you, bangers and mash is for the bougie people, bangers and smash is you know for the lower for the class. Hood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's for the hood. Okay, yeah. I got you. Bangers and bangers and mash simply is sausages and and uh, mashed potatoes. That's it, bro. And I bet the difference is how you season them. That's my guess. Nah, it's just like you can either have you know potatoes and ain't cheap now. So you, there's like you know packet packet version. That's the smash. But okay. if you got the money, you can buy you know a sack of potatoes. Then it's mash. You see what I'm okay. saying? Okay, okay. You put you put yeah. my you put me on game right now. I appreciate <laughs> there that. You go. All right, here we go. There you go. Um, buffalo wings. Um, bar bills. Have to say bar bills. Okay. Um, yeah. Blue cheese. Or ranch. or ranch, uh, blue cheese. Somebody taught. Somebody sent me a uh, <coughs> when I first signed. Somebody sent me a IG telling me what the correct answer to that question would be. So I will never get it wrong. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. You've been you've been taught. You've been taught. Yeah, right. yeah. Here we go. Um, Devin Singletary. That's the two words. Two words for Devin Singletary. Jeez, silky smooth, man. Silky, Silky smooth. smooth. All right. Zach Moss. Uh, for, I see that. I see that. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach Moss. He he is the definition of a of a, a raging a, a raging buffalo, bro. A raging bull, man. He just runs over people, runs through everything. That's my that's my guy right there, bro. Zach, well, both of them my guys. Zach Moss, Devin, my brothers, man. They be they, you know, they're helping me along with TJ Yeldon, like on every on a lot of the running back stuff, those guys have been my, you know, right by my side, bro, helping me every step of the way. All right, so so then Frank Gore, Frankie G, he's another one. The uh, goat, I say the goat. That's what I'll say. That's the goat. Okay, now si aside from the two words, we're just gonna go take a little sidebar. Mm -hmm. What is it about this running back room that has taught you the most, or or you you've seen it and you're like. I didn't. I had no idea about this part of playing the running back role in the NFL, and you're starting to kind of now. It's coming together for you. What was it, and who taught you it the most? Well, to be honest, it was like I don't think I understood like as a running back that the the, the role of that position until you know actually starting to study and learn it, and you know as a running back you have to know just as much as the quarterback. Pretty much, you know, you have to learn you know, the, the blocking scheme. So, you know, where you're trying to go when you're doing your running game, but then you also need to know, you know, pass protection. So you need to know all of that stuff. You need to know the linemen's calls as well to know whether they're like fanning out or whether they're, you know, trying to get to the, uh, just they're taking all the five down and we're going next level. You have to read the safeties and there's all kinds of stuff. Then we have to know routes as well because we can get motioned out. So for me, running back is like, it's a very tough position, and to be honest, bro, I don't know why they don't get paid more money, bro. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm banging that bell. That's what oh. I'm saying. Bro, we will talk on that on that topic just a moment. Uh, we're gonna go back to two words. Are you ready for it, Josh oh. Allen? Ooh, cannon. That cannon arm, bro. That I cannon. Got, yeah, yeah. He's got a cannon arm, bro. I got. Uh, I wish I had them with me, but like some of my, uh, what'd you call it? My gloves, you know, yeah. how they just be shredded up because when I've had the rare opportunity to catch a ball from Josh, you know, he's breaking my gloves, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's, take, he's taking that stick -em off your gloves. Yeah. That was he. Need a new pair of gloves every right. couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, check this. Um, Dion Dawkins. The snowman. The <laughs> snowman. Up. Straight up. This, it'll be... The snowman or some mac and cheese, you know what I mean? Mix it. I see him. I see him. He's making. He, he's mixing that. That's my guy. All right. Uh, let's go to. Let's go to the receiver room. Stefan Diggs. Ooh. Uh. There's. I'm trying to think now. For Diggs. There's. <laughs> uh, uh, let me say, fashion. The Bills fashion icon because he's always wearing some sort of fashionable, like clothes or whatever. He's not wearing his Bills stuff. He's wearing some his own stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, you know who thinks he's very fashionable, but I gotta give it to him. Deion Dawkins be putting some some stuff together now. Nah, he's a, for, well, I was just about to say <laughs> for a big fella, he can he can work for a big, for a big dude. He, he you know he's got that fashion on, on Smash, bro. Like with the cars, he likes to do it with his car in the back, some different kind of fit, 
for the ah. games or whatever. Yeah, yeah. He, he right. he's working. He's working it now. He's working it. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Coach McDermott. Ooh, uh, he always like he, he he just he's so passionate about about the team. Now for me, Coach McDermott is like, you know, he's a he's a he's a great dude. You know, he manages the team well, and like you know, I've had the privilege to be around a lot of coaches and stuff, and I like the way that he coaches and you know sets the culture and all that sort of stuff. So. You know, he, he he's definitely our captain, you know what I mean? He's definitely our captain, bro. Leader of the ship, you feel me? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the defensive side of the ball. Tredavious White. <laughs> he's the the loudest dude in the room, bro. But he's fun, he's funny, he's funny though. He's funny. That's my guy as well, man. T White. Yeah, T White. He's funny, T. White, man. T. White. I'm like, uh I'm I'll give you another like, one. Yeah. I got last one. Josh Norman. <laughs> I'm curious. Two words to describe Ooh. Josh. He is, I would call, he's a silent, a silent assassin, bro. Because he's oh. like, yeah, he's down to earth. He's chilled. Like, he's a great dude. But, like, you know, he's got, he's got a screw loose up here, bro. Like, once that, once he goes in the field, flip that switch. Woo! Let me he's tell you something. You, you may not know this about him, but he, when he played with McDermott back in the day, he said yeah. every game, he, he'd turn on a, another persona. He'd be Batman one day. Then he'd be another uh another uh, co a comic character for another just oh, to really? just to get in the zone and i loved everything about that when it came to josh norman so uh it's funny that you said that oh, it's it, that's bro. that's him because he because like in the locker room he he uh his locker his locker is like just not right directly opposite in front of me is uh jaquan johnson but then next to him is um josh norman so you know we got real tight this year as well so you know I, I understood about how he just like, yo, man, I'll be flicking the switch and like, Dude, yeah, that's him. You're like, you see him on the field, bro, when he's making hits. I'm like, yeah, yeah, just but leave Josh alone. Don't, don't, nobody going to talk to Josh right now, but let him do his thing. Let him let him go. Let him go off. I got you. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was our small topic on, on two words. My man, Christian Way, yo, you did your thing. You did your thing. Good Appreciate stuff. So, We're going to get back into football talk. Now, you've been marinating on this field for two years now. Mm -hmm. And I I need to understand from your perspective, not able to get on the field and you're watching everybody have the fun and have success on top of that. What are you sitting like, man, I can't wait. Like, is that, are you more like patience? I'm just going to be patient with my time. Or are you eager? Let me on this field because I can do what these guys are doing. What's your, your thought process? <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm more patient, man. I think it's just, you know, the maturity of, of, of being like a, a sportsman and stuff. You know, I know everybody has their time. And, you know, sometimes the opportunities never come. So for me, it's just about trying to stay ready and, well, trying to get as ready as I'm going to be because, you know, my time is I'm having to try and accelerate, catch up with everybody, you know, get as much knowledge as possible so that I can be on the field and, and be of, uh, you know, contribute to the team successfully, you know. And obviously the last two years I've been contributing to the team behind the scenes, you know, giving them good looks or mm. trying try, trying to give them good looks <laughs> you know i get and then um obviously gradually getting better at that and then obviously you know just working with the guys making sure that i know my stuff and you know where they might be you know doing something wrong i can help and hold them accountable so you know just really trying to be a great teammate to everybody so hopefully you know this season my, my opportunity can come up but yeah, I've just really just been patient, bro. Um, I like it. You know, obviously I'm eager and stuff, but I just I just understand how these things work. You know, I'm 20, what, 28, 29. So, you know, I, I, I've been doing professional sport for 10 years, bro. So yeah. that's really my mindset, you know, just really coming at it from a professional standpoint, you know, making sure my body's right, making sure my mind's right, nutrition, all that sort of stuff. And then, you know, when the opportunity comes, you know, I'll be ready to go. Just like you've seen, in preseason, bro, I I well, I'd been in America for like three, four months, and then you know I was able to do what I did. People might call it luck or whatever, but I know how much work I put into this sport. You know what I'm saying? And, and any sport, so the engine's been built already, bro. I'm just waiting for my op. Yeah, hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that. Hit that. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm saying I brought the bell out because you're like, yo, I've been doing three, four months. You saw what I did in three, four months. I've been doing, I've yeah, been now yeah. marinating for two years yeah, now. Yeah. Yo, start the engine. Start yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cause I'm right. like, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now, I was just going to say, because the other thing is as well, you know, you see with this game, like, there's a lot of talent and stuff. And, you know, because the game is very, um, you know, play by play, 
you can you know certain players can be designed you know you can you can you can really direct how people you want people to play like on the field and stuff so there's definitely scope for me to be able to do some stuff on the field even though I might not be as well versed as everybody else you know and um if that opportunity comes bro like I said man I'm just I'm just waiting right. on it I'm right. waiting on it bro so now there's three everybody we, we all football fans know there's three phases to the game there's the offense there's the de- there's the defense and then there's the special teams mm-hmm. Andre Roberts is gone that's my guy loved Andre Roberts yeah that's he's my now, guy too. yeah my man guy. he's with the Texans now now there's, the there's a and Isaiah McKenzie we don't know what's going on with Isaiah McKenzie if they bring him yeah. back wonderful but there's an yeah, open yeah. void at return punt return and kick return Mm. Has there been any conversation with you potentially jumping into, hey, you, you, listen, this year, man, you got an opportunity to return them punts and kicks. Are you ready? Has there been any conversation that way? Now, we haven't had those conversations as such, but, you know, um, obviously my position in rugby, like I explained earlier, you know, returning kicks, you know, um, <clears throat> and doing all that sort of stuff. Naturally, that was obviously a position that they were looking at me you know, so the last two years, obviously, I've been, you know, doing those sort of stuff with Isaiah, you know, Andre Roberts and stuff and trying to learn from those guys. Um, and also, even before that, when we had like the, the, the preseason, the first preseason, we had loads of other guys there that I was able to learn with, like Ray Ray McLeod. You know, that's my guy, had Victor Bolden. Um, I think he's at the Detroit Lions. And this mm-hmm. is stuff with XFL. Um, who else we had? We had a few people that was back there, but you know those were a couple to just to name a few. So, so, so you um, were back there with them. You were back there with them returning punts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been I've been doing that. You know, last year, as like I said, you know, giving looks for the kickoff team, and then vice versa. You know, so you know may, maybe that's going to be an opportunity for for them to maybe look at me Shit. next year as well. So, I'm calling it know. right now. My man, <laughs> I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Right. It's gonna be our secret. It's gonna be our secret. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're gonna to go to a another another segment, um, and it's called "Defend This Topic." Are you hey. ready, sir? I've been putting oh, some people man. on the on the uh, on on that on that on that table for them to defend it. So defend this statement. Are you ready, sir? This is called "Defend This Statement." Hey, I'm about to move move locations in it because my All right, my, move my uh. <laughs> I like that. You move locations. That's what you're going to be doing when you play running back, man. From left to right, you're going to be moving all over the place. Here we go. Move Defend move this location. statement. Running yep. back are a dime a dozen. Running back are a dime a dozen. Well, if you if you was on earlier, you say that like at, at the running back position, you need to know so much stuff. You need to know just as much of the quarterback in my eyes because you need to know where the whole defense is lined up, where the safeties are, you need to know where the linebackers are. You might need to look at the corners and peep them because they might be trying to come off for a corner blitz. And, you know, as a running back, your sole position is you're the last line of defense. So whatever happens, it's, it's up to you to protect the quarterback. And for me, who's the most important person in the field? The quarterback. quarterback. Let's the go. The quarterback. Yeah, and, you know, that's just one that's just one job, you know, protecting them. Then you have to know, you know, all the routes, whether it's, you know, running back routes or like the route tree, because you can get motioned out into, you know, empty formation, or you might have to run a route from the backfield. <clears throat> then you have running plays. So now not only do you need to know if someone's coming to try and get to your quarterback, but now you need to know, you know, how are the linemen blocking so that you know exactly where you're trying to hit 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 up in the hole. To try and make this run play. So for me, you have to know so much stuff. I don't know why running backs don't get paid more. And that's me defending the statement, bro. You damn right, yo. You nailed that. You nailed that. Let me tell you something. Let me add to that. Because I refuse, <laughs> I refuse to hear people say that the running backs are a dime a dozen. We are the yeah. engine. If the run game doesn't work, right? And you're not pass blocking, guess what? Your quarterback's hurt. Now you're now you're sitting with the backup. Right, so put some respect on the running back name. That's all I'm gonna add to that. Christian, hey, Wade, you knocked that out the hey, park, hey. man. Bring the fullbacks back as well, bro. Oh shit! I'm... Bring the fullbacks back, yo, my man's dropping nuggets. All right, here we go. We're going. We're going to the next one. We're going to the next hey. one. Rugby players don't translate in the NFL. 
Yeah, I saw that fake. Defend it. Man, you got to play rugby, man. He ain't, ain't going to do this. This is the NFL, man. Boy, go oh, please, man. I mean, the reason why that statement has probably stood before now is because no one has done it. You know what I'm saying? But now you have myself. You have, you know, Christian Scotland Williamson. You have, you know, before me, it was Jared Hayne. You know, you have Alex Gray. And, you know, you look at people like, um, oh, I forgot his name now. This is, this is I, I don't know if it's. If it's embarrassing, he was at the Patriots. I keep forgetting he played seven. Oh, I, I can't. I can't remember. He's a special teams. Um, Listen, special anything teams to do with the Patriots, we don't care. We hate Patriots. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I forgot <laughs> his name now, but but yeah, there is. Um, he's actually he's American, so he played for the USA rugby team. Okay, I think he played a little bit in college as well. And then he made the transition to go and play um, in the NFL as well. And he's actually been going back and forth. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he's got a, uh, he went to the Olympics with the rugby sevens too. So, you know, it's definitely possible. It's just about, you know, how the player is getting taught. Because, you know, we're all athletes. We've all got great attributes. And it's really just about, you know, getting a hold of them and teaching them the, the sport so that they can translate. The reason why people say that is just because no one's really done it. And that's why I'm out here trying to change people's perceptions, you know, trying to change the game so that we can get more athletes from outside of America into the NFL. Because then everybody's happy. NFL can make more money. You know, we can globalize the sport. And we can just make this thing big, bro. It's for everybody, Yo, bro. You got me excited, man. You got me excited because you said all the right things, man. Because those are the things that people talk about. Man, those rugby players, they don't, they don't, it's a, it's a different game. Guess what? There's a football. You're trying to tackle me. I'm trying to get to the end zone and get my try. Let's stop talking about it. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's called touchdown, though, bro. Okay, touchdown. my bad. My bad. No, okay. I'm saying, I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> you right now. It's a touchdown. We don't need five no more. It's a foul. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you, yeah. you my, okay, here we go. Last one for me. When it comes right. to defend this statement. When athletes get over 30, yo, they're they're over the hill. It's over with, man. We got to start. This is a young man's game. It's a young man's game, man. He's almost getting to 30. He's 31. He's 32. He don't got it no more. Defend it. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what the stats in it, but from my, from my point of view, when you look at sport, most people come into their prime when they're, what, 27, 28. In my point of view, because, you know, you're now fully developed. You know, you're starting to come into that growing man strength. You know, and to me, it all depends on how you looked after your body. You know what I'm saying? You can't really look at someone and just be like, oh, his age, and then say, okay, this, that, and the other. You know, you need to see him out there. You see me move at my age, and, you know, I've played rugby all my life and stuff, so the type of hits I've been taking compared to, like, a rugby, I mean, uh, NFL player is going to be a lot different, you know? Right. Especially at the running back position. They've taken way more hits, and the type of hits has been, like, ridiculous you know and it, it all depends on you know the body types and stuff so for me that statement is dead you know people who are making that statement don't know sport you know what i mean they've either never played or they've got the wrong idea you know what i'm saying so you know come come back when you could tell me that oh i'm over the hill or whatever because i'm gonna be playing for a long time bro like it is what it is and oh, in rock in rock in rugby, a lot of people are, are playing way, way longer. So to me, it all depends on how you manage your body. Because if they were, if they weren't playing that until they were like, you know, thirty five, thirty six, then I wouldn't be able to defend that statement. But because I've seen it done before, I definitely think it's a, you know, a dead statement, bro. Dead. Yo, listen, man. Yo, I tell you right now, you nailed it. You nailed. It. All three, you defended your case. Look, look at this man. He's like, yeah, I got this. I got Ew. this. All right. So back to the football field. Back to the football field. So I want to know, now that you've been marinating for a couple of years now, do you yeah. have a favorite play, a favorite run play? Are you more – I like the inside <clears throat> run. I, you know, give me a toss. Let me Give me give me a sweep. Give me a jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it for you that you're like, yo, I'm the most comfortable doing this? I'm like, you know what? <laughs> it's a tough one <laughs> it, all, it all depends on like the look you know what i'm saying because for me you know if you get the right look like any play is is clutch that's how i look at it but sometimes 
you know, you call a play and then you get a look, you're like, oh, okay, like, it's not the desired look, but we, we're we not going to check out of it. We're going to keep it the same, make it work. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So, to be, I do prefer running, um, what do you call it? When I get the ball in my hands and passing plays, and I, because I like running plays, but sometimes it's like, oh, yo, it's just all jammed up, bro. Like a little screen re- pass here, a little yeah, screen I'm pass re- there. Yeah, I'm relying on too many people sometimes. So I like, I like when I get the ball, like, and I can, you know, it's use big, my footwork. Big. Yeah, yeah, because I can get separation now. I can mm-hmm. get separation now. So yeah, it's just it's it for me. It's those, you know, out of the backfield or um, you know, certain run plays when we have a nice look, but. You know, I, I can't really tell right now, like, oh, yeah. And I don't think any running back could tell, like, oh, I'm about to to, to bust a big one. You know, you yeah. know where you're trying to go and what the lineman is supposed to do. But it's almost like, you know, everything has to line up right for you to you know, I get really it. bust it through. I so, get it. You know, I told you what I, it is, bro. For sure, man. But, oh, you know, who I had at the end of the last season, though, we had yes, Devontae, Freeman, Devontae Freeman in the building, bro. So he was able to, like, you know, coach me through a couple of stuff too. And I'm trying to link up with him this off season. So, you know, there's another one, one of the greats being at the Super Bowl who can, um, you know, help to like feed into That's key right. ways, knowledge of football. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's right. So, Cause I forgot that we did bring in Devontae Freeman. So yeah, you took up a lot of knowledge from my man, Devontae Freeman. He's been in the game a little while now. Nah, he's, he's still dangerous, bro. That's what I'm saying now. He's like, what? He's a 20, 28, 29. Yeah, you guys are in the same range, same age range. Uh, he's still dangerous, bro. He's still okay. dangerous. So still let me ask, answer me this because there's some people that feel, and, and this is truth. This is the truth. Now we don't have the speed mm-hmm. in the running back room. Devin Singletary ran mm-hmm. a four six four seven forty. He don't got it, but my man has five yards of carry, right? Mm-hmm. And you have a guy like Zach Moss is more of a bruiser type of back. What mm-hmm. do you say to the fans that say, "Man, we need to add another running back that's got some speed"? Are you mm-hmm. more like, "Hello, look at me, I'm right here"? Are you like, you know what? <laughs> Add more to the competition, it don't matter. How do you feel on that? For me, it's just like, you know, I really just kind of like sitting back, bro, and just like, you know, just doing what I do. I'm, I've never been someone to like, you know, do a lot of talking and stuff. I just let my plane do the talking, bro. So, you know, people say what they say, what they need. You know, I've got speed. I've got whatever, whatever it is that people are asking for, you know. If I got it, then, you know, I know I could fit that that kind of position, that role and stuff. But it all depends on what a bigger picture is for the Bills and what they're trying to achieve. And, you know, however I can contribute, you know, I'm right here, bro. So, like I said, I don't like to do too much talking. I just allow my plane to do the talking. That's been my my motto or, like, my style of doing things the whole of my career, bro. You know, people always see, like, you know, talking down or saying I'm too small to do this, I'm too that. So I've always been like, you know, had the underdog mentality my whole career. I like and, it. You know, I, don't, I don't think it's ever going to go, bro. So, you know, coming over here to America, you know, you're getting more of the same stuff, you know, being from the UK, playing rugby, blah, blah, blah. It goes one in one of my ears and out the other. Like, I don't really care, bro. I'm just here to do what I do, waiting for my op. That's it. I love it, man. I love every bit of what you're saying. And maybe I'm maybe I'm biased, man. Cause I, I've been rooting for you. I've been rooting for you so hard, man. And whenever, when everybody talks about Christian Wade, this, that, and the third, and I'm like, guys, stop talking about Christian Wade right now because he's exempt. There's nothing he can do about it. But this year, mm-hmm. people yeah, can't yeah. sleep. People cannot sleep. Y'all better wipe the crust from your eyes because <laughs> Christian Wade is around. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna hey, say this. That's so we have one last segment, and it's called yep, yep. Say it, we, it's called Say It With Your Chest. All right. All right. Now, before I get to it, I'm going to put a little twist on this. I want to see I want to see if you can do this. This is the challenge. Okay. You're going to say it with your chest on the topic yeah. that I'm going to put at hand. However, the twist is you have to say it in an American accent. Are you able oh. to? <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to? You know what? I'll let you I'll let you marinate on that while we do this. Hold on. Uh. Hold on a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tuned in with Christian Wade, running back of the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> He's been marinating now. He's been seasoned. Now we're about to take the first bite. Pause out of my guy. You know what I'm saying? Christian Wade. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. Say yeah, what yeah. 
in an American accent, what is Christian Wade going to have to do to make people silence themselves on trying to bring any other running backs into the building? Because Christian Wade is right here. He's right now. Say it with your chest. What is it that Christian Wade is going to bring to silence everybody else in an American accent? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious, bro. <laughs> The floor is yours. <laughs> nah, you know what? You know what's like kind of flashing through my mind right now? It's what's like that? it it's your Elba, like, you know, <laughs> Daniel Ezra, like <laughs> that's exactly and you know what? You're gonna be amongst them in on, on the shrine right now of guys that could do it. I know you can't. Nah, nah, but I but I really can't though. That's the oh, you thing, can't? like you know what I mean I try I try to do it. And like certain words that I use for being around guys <laughs> all the time. Let's but have like my American, my American accent is not great, bro. Well, you know I'm what? The most, the most people want to know is is answering the question. I was trying to throw a little spike in there, but you don't have to do. It. <laughs> I know. Most, I know. <laughs> most people do want to know though. What does Christian Way bring to the table that can silence everybody else saying, "Bring this guy here, bring that there," when you've mm -hmm. got a speed guy that's been marinated for two years now? Talk yeah, on. Yeah, it yeah. Was, say it with your chest. Well, boy, like I said, you know, I allow my playing to do the talking. And you've seen what I did in preseason with, you know, not very much preparation, not a lot of reps. So just imagine what I could achieve if I had more reps, you know, more preparation, which is what I've been able to have the last two years. You know, what's the point in bringing in other people when you can use the man, C. Wade, and see what he's got, you know? If I don't fit the bill, I don't fit the bill. But, you know, you're never going to know unless you take that chance. So that's me saying what I need to say. Say it with your chest. You feel me? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Christian Wade, you've been a breath of fresh air, man. This was a, a, a fun interview. Um, I think the fans, Bills fans that have been asking for you, I think are going to really appreciate the other side of Christian Wade, right? They got to know him. They got to know you as the player, the man, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, broadcasting this to all of Bill's Mafia. I think they're going to appreciate this. So I appreciate your time, man. Stay healthy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to say anything to me, but I think you're going to be our kick return punt returner. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it out into the existence that you're going to be oh, our guy. guy. So Christian Wade, ladies and gentlemen, running back for the Buffalo Bills, I appreciate your time graciously um and stay healthy get get at it and it's gonna be it's gonna be a three-headed monster man christian way appreciate it man Perry, appreciate it bro zach moss let's go and ladies right. and gentlemen that's that and we'll see you next time